that. I yeah, because it goes that. to a good cause, man. We're gonna essentially, I want to start donating this to different causes, man. Like you this know, just kids straight. without We're ready? kids without uh stuff like me. All right, so this is recording. Nice. Good morning, everyone. I'm hearing my own self. Let's not do that. Show. You got your own jingle, or y'all want me to play the detail in here or not? Yeah, you can you, you go right before doing I'm going to cut this off. Ready? Oh, I'm always ready. It just looks like it. <laughs> you can drop the jings. Let's go live. Quiet on the set. Wake up. That's the new color, children. <laughs> This is the Detail Did It Barbershop Podcast. Get this thing, get this Conversation for and about the culture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's season two right here. Oh, yeah. We back, we back, we back, we back, we back, we back, we back. We back, we back. Hey. We don't stop. It's game time. We don't flop. We don't stop. It's game time. We don't flop. We don't stop. It's game time. We don't flop. We don't stop. It's game, game time. We don't, we don't. Hey, what up? <laughs> what up, what up, what up? Good morning, good morning. Hey, thanks for tuning in each and every day. All of you guys, the way that you, however well you do it, whether you're listening to the podcast or you're live streaming on the Real Team Reality Show, my page, Chad page, the Detail Did It Podcast Network, Detail Did It on YouTube. Whew, I think I got it all. South Front on YouTube. And South you know, you know where we all do this from. Look around. It's got the Detail Did It Podcast Network. We got the I drink and I know things. That's how I roll. We can just shoot this live Monday through Wednesday thus far. Uh, yeah. every, well, every day, every day Monday through Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, May 15, roughly, to about 9, roughly, uh, here at South Crown, at South Crown Barbershop, 1010 South Flores. Now, don't forget our Instagram handles, at Detail Did It, at Detail Did It Podcast Network, at Luxury New Homes S A T X. Mm, let's go. I did it. Let's go. And at P Hammers <laughs> two and O. And of course, you can hit us on any kind of Facebook. Just look up all of the names I just mentioned. You, you'll find us. If you don't know how to use it, learn. And we got a guest that was all about that today too. Uh, hey, if you, if you haven't, if you haven't realized, I'm super excited today. Super, really? I'm super excited. This every is day. Your super excited. But I'm guys? overly excited today because I'm excited about the guy that we have coming on the show. And I'm telling you. Today's content is gonna be incredible. Get your scuba there ready because we're going deep. It's Ooh. gonna be, I'm telling you, it's gonna be deep. So <sighs> Let me take I a breath. Wait. I'm yeah. I'm ready. Well, let's get it rocking. So, this is episode 15, 15. of the Realty and Reality, po- uh, Realty and Reality Show mm-hmm. with Chad and myself, Patrick Hammonds. Woohoo! The man, the myth, and the legend in my mind. <laughs> So let's kick it off the same way we kick it off. I actually got some real news for you guys today. Uh-oh. Uh, check this out. As opposed to fake news or clickbait. Um, <laughs> first and foremost, the typical rundown. I want to remind you guys, we got Same Mama, Different Daddy, Thursday at 7 p.m. we got mm-hmm. the Real Team Reality Show, Monday through Wednesday, 8.15-ish mm-hmm. to 9 o'clock-ish. Mm-hmm. And then we got Detail Did It, Barbershop Show. we got Fist Up Fridays at 6 p.m. with Hubert Streets Brown. And, of course, Numbers Don't. <gasps> don't forget the rest of that. That's right, with Calvin yeah. Jackson. So... With that said, woo! I flew to those shows. You like the speed on that? That's what happens when you start a little bit late. However, we're not late. We started right on time. CP Somebody time. time. CP time. It's all, it's all good. <laughs> and guess what? We can say that, and some of you guys can't. So oh. don't. Oh. Don't. I don't care if you're free. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, I heard a wait. You know, I, I take instructions very well. Silent instructions. So. Good morning, Delaney. That was so quiet. It's our pro- our producer is awesome. You guys, you keep you keep up the great work behind the scenes, producer. Now, I probably wouldn't say this in front of white folk, but in front of your people, man. If you guys heard that, you heard that. Now check it out. First and foremost, let's start with sports. You know about sports. All right, let's go. I pretend to know about sports. Fake it till I make hey, it. Hey, fake it till we make it. I'm the type of dude that wakes up and watches Sports Center just so I can I can talk to the water cooler. <laughs> <laughs> but for real though, uh, so I saw that the the Brian the Browns the Bryans the Bryans the Browns have uh, chosen to sign uh, Hunt from the uh, from the Chiefs. Kareem Hunt. After really? the video, yes, of After that video kicking surface. and punching a woman. Yeah, I did not get that news. But um, they're going to put him through some kind of... Oh, yeah, I'm 
don't know. I don't know how I feel about that because I, I mean we know domestic violence is huge right now in, in athletics, uh, sports. Period. And it's about period, sports. right? Yeah, period. <laughs> and um, I mean, if you strip it away from one, you got to strip it away from all. It can't be that hey, this guy's okay. This guy, we put him through a program. It's out there. You know what I mean? Just touch on yesterday's topic though. We make mistakes. Choices, poor choices, not mistakes. It's never yeah. a mistake. You make a choice, uh, and then the choice makes you. That's how that works. Mm -hmm. how, however, the thing is, if he goes through a program and he rehabilitates himself, does he deserve a second chance in, in his profession? Well, I, I believe this is the land of second chances. However, um, there's no. Regardless, I, I just feel like regardless of what you're going through in your mind, there's really no rhyme or reason as a grown man you should be putting your hands on a woman. Period. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, if it gets that intense, you should have the, the willpower to be able to walk away. So stop and walk away and right. get yourself out of trouble. Right. All right. I respect that. That was a legit question. Just, you know, <laughs> I'm coming from curiosity. That's, that's where I come from. I mean, these are, these are professional NFL football players that squat 600 pounds, bench 400 pounds. You're going to destroy a woman, like. And when the whistle and the whistle yeah. blows, they manage to stop the you, you're, woman, you're, right? You're, you're, yeah, so. You know. Hey. hey. Flag on the play. Teach their own. Flag but on the play. I don't know how I feel about that. It's too soon. Too soon. <laughs> too soon. You <laughs> took away. You took away Ray Rice. Everybody remember Ray Rice and his accident, what happened True. in the elevator and things of that nature. Like True. you stripped him. Be consistent in your policy. There you go, consistency, right. and that's what it's about. Right. Uh, moving on, I'm not going to just look out the window to give you guys the weather report today. Well, hold up. Yeah, it's still matching. Actually, what I got. We, got some good, we got some good clouds today, good sky. Well, actually, I got, we, got, we got partly sunny. We got a high yeah. of 66. Yeah. Uh, it's, it was 50 degrees when I left the house. It's probably like 54 now since how San Antonio works. And also, back to history, guys. So on this day mm -hmm. in history, in 1809, Abraham Lincoln, we all know who he was, Abraham Lincoln was born or created the 16th president. He was born. There we go. Let me find you straight. He was born on this day. He was the 16th president. Now here comes the, the funny factoid. Okay. He was a, he's in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Abraham Lincoln. He's in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. That is interesting. He won 299 of 300 wrestling matches. <laughs> So, I would not mess with that man. <laughs> if he should have sleep for a whole Yeah, this is interesting fact. I was like, okay. Now, also on this day in 1999, President Clinton was acquitted uh, after his uh, long impeachment trial for, mm -hmm. for you know what. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, uh, if the glove does not fit, you must you acquit. Must uh, the glove did not fit, if you ask uh, Miss Monica. Now, so let go. Do, do, do. I got jokes on jokes today. All right, so in celebrity news, Jennifer Aniston over this weekend, she turned 50. Can you believe that? Jennifer Aniston. Really? She's 50. Are you serious? Have you seen her in Horrible Bosses? Yes. I mean, she's probably like, what, 46 then? I can't believe it. I know. I can't, wow. That's my cougar noise. So is that, is that, is that just truly blessed genes, or is that money can buy? I'm going to go with both. <laughs> facts, these are facts. <laughs> also, Kylie Jenner had a live baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark performance for her uh, for her kid, uh, Travis Scott. Uh -huh. baby. So yeah. they had a little birthday party. I thought this. Hey man, I, I, I commend him. Applause. Yeah. Applaud to Travis Scott because he has he's really been taking a high road on a lot of criticism and uh, people have been trying to just kind of tear down his 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 high, right? And true. like he's he's converted to this this true family man. He's all about his fam and it's whatever like whatever f the world family. And I, I, I admire that. That's man. what it's about. Yeah, I admire that. That's what yeah. we, we get up each and every day and do stuff for us for our families. Absolutely. You know, most typically, anyways. And, and, it, and speaking of that, I know he performed at the Grammys. He had a he had a decent what, decent performance. Was it better than a Super performance? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> and also, we've got last and yet not least a couple more piece snippets of news. Um, it does look like we we found a solution almost uh, to avoiding another government shutdown. We got till uh, I want to say Wednesday at midnight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That will be terrible. That will be terrible. All and right. then of course, uh, now now here's another thing. This is not uh, atypical at all. Trump. DJT. He went in on Beto Award. 
he went in on Beto or in El Paso, in our home state, in Beto's home city, mm -hmm. because Beto decided to hold his own kind of, I don't know how the anti-Trump rally, and yet it really was, it's what it was. Right. And, he was and he, he's able to do that, this is America. However, Trump responded with, you, you lost, you know, running, running for office, you, you lost, so you have to, you have to win to run. So why are you, why are you running? You have to win to run. <laughs> Trump is the king of talking shit. Yeah, he <laughs> talks trash. He's like, why are you ever holding the thing and you're sitting against me? Yeah. Donald J. Trump, okay. he trips me out. That's he is just a trip. So, and, and last but not least, Ilan Omar well, tweeted, it's all about the Benjamins, baby. Uh, in, in reference to uh, our policies with it, with Israel mm -hmm. and our finances and where the money goes and what it's all about and what right. it really boils down right. to. She's had to re retract that, that tweet. Um, I suspect somebody will be calling for her to step down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Anyhow, so Who that's knows? that's the news for the day. What else we got on the agenda today, Jay? So, do you follow uh, Gary Vaynerchuk? I mean, if you don't, well, I don't know. Do you have a choice to follow him or not follow him? That guy has got know. social media down. He, he's he on, does. He's he, on your screen. He, he, he's leveraging it for real, for real. He so, work. so, yes, the answer is yes. So, right now, there's a video circulating with Gary and a recent interview that he did uh, where he's kind of hitting on the American dream, and everyone knows where everyone perceive that the American dream still is to own a piece of the pie, be a right. homeowner. Uh, and so a recent interview came out where he's pretty much going back on what he's previously preached and saying okay. that is no longer true. So I have a little snippet from that interview. I want to get your thoughts on that. You being in residential real estate and things of that nature, like what do you think of this right here? So let's listen to this. Let's listen to it. I do not think the American dream should be my home. saying hey go get saddled with more debt yeah go get saddled with more debt yeah. so so I don't you know as a realtor yeah thanks for asking um, it is the American dream to own your own piece of something correct and, and to be able to pay into it and pay it off and then have that money one thing I've always told people especially when they're renters wanting to be buyers and, and then therefore owners of a home right. is that it is the only way to have to build true wealth at the end of the day. As long as you're paying that mortgage, you're paying it on time, making some extra payments, make those extra payments to pay that loan off early. Right. You know, when you sell that house, that's money that you really never had. And if you're renting forever with that money, well guess what? That goes down the drain when you move, when you mm -hmm. die, or anything. But with the house, you can will it to somebody. Again, you can sell it. I had, I met an 83 year old right. man that had a, a coincidentally 83 properties. Right. Well, he had tenants in them renting from him they paid his mortgage off, and he sold them all in one group for uh, so several million dollars right. that he never technically had, ever, ever. Right. So I disagree with, it, with, with, with Gary's plan, and at the same time, I, I see what he's saying, and he's not the first to say that. You know, Grant Cardone has also come out with that, you know, lease, lease your cars, all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. versus buying it. Right. Granted, he's talking about vehicles and those types of materials. However, those homes are land. Assets. I mean, I mean he said the land day, they're not building land anymore. Right. So, uh, you know, and then I, I have to agree with the, the college thing, of being the college guy. No, the college so. thing is different, <laughs> but the college thing is different. I, I, I definitely have to, I to agree with you there, because... I've, I've done the four year, I've got my degree in, in business, and, and so majority of what I have taken in college to acquire that that uh, diploma, that degree, so to speak, I haven't touched that since, <laughs> since I was in school. So it's, it's obviously, it's a, um, I, I look at it as a business. 
And like I, that's what it is. I've got to put on the pretend part for my kids. Yeah. Like that, so I mean, we but, like finish school and all that stuff, and I don't even know how to do half the stuff they're doing in elementary school. I am but not it's, it's not, fifth grader, it's not bad. Year. So there is one opportunity, and we still see it today. It is that person that does have that piece of paper that has the, the leg up on the next man that does not. Uh, I see it in my, my own family, and it, it is there, but half the material that is taught in those universities, it's like, okay, what? What are we doing? Let's, let's focus on it. Yeah. I don't make excuses. Yeah. That is the reason I dropped out of college. I, I, I signed up for all these prerequisites, and I'm like, when am I going to use it? Yeah. And, 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 uh, yeah, you know, I got distracted by the word of cleavage naturally. <laughs> and then I started looking around the room. Rock. Like, mm, speaking of cleavage. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, college just was not for me. I, went, yeah. I was there for 90 days, non consecutively, uh, probably about 12. And uh, then I realized it wasn't for me. And guess what? I don't have student debt. Now I just have well, all the other debt house debt. Loans. Hey. <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah. Got to pay them bills. So anyhow, um, man, Gary V. That was interesting. That was yeah. And he is he is he is one of the great minds of our time. So yeah. I'm gonna have to do some he, more. He definitely on challenges that. your perspective, but uh, that one right there, you just challenged mine on him. Shout out to my clients though. You're still buying, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> All right. So write that deal up. We're we're going out house hunting today. Ooh, picked up a seller today. Already this morning. Boom. Boom. Gonna help go. them to the next chapter in their life. And I uh, got two or three buyers pre approved yesterday. Hey, so, man, what, what area of town are you trying to be in? Well, we'll, we'll have to say. Okay. So far, it's pretty ish area. Hey, and, uh, let's talk after the show. It's pretty open, so. We're going to talk after the show. I just have to go to Dallas and Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hey. Got anything else? I mean, I always got stuff. Hey, we can always keep going. Up, but for the sake of time, <laughs> I know we're both super excited to get this gentleman on the line. So this is going to be an interview uh, with a really good friend of mine, uh, Patrick. You actually do know him, and it's going to ring a bell when we get him on the phone. Uh, right. But <laughs> without further ado, let me get him buzzed in here. Um, I'm telling you, guys, get your scuba your scuba uh, gear ready because we're and get those hand claps ready too. Yeah, get those hand claps ready. So we got a guest coming. Let's on. get him on. The show. Let's applaud them in. Can we get them hand claps? Come on. What's up, man? Good morning. Hey, good morning. The man, the man, the man. In my mind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you, if you don't. Hey, Marcus. So this is Marcus Calhoun, everyone. Marcus Calhoun is calling in. <laughs> Yeah, live, live from, live from Dallas. Live, live from Dallas. From Dallas. If, if you don't mind, speak up just a little bit because we got cameras everywhere. We want everybody to, to listen to the good word you got. And I don't know how much can you guys do me better than that? Oh, sure. absolutely. Sure. We got okay. Okay. Yeah, well, I have a little earplugs here. Okay. So, okay. Absolutely. Hey, let's see you guys doing amazing things, man. I think you about it. Even considering to have me on the show, man. Absolutely. I'm grateful for you. No, that's what, yes. We're thinking in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> this show would be nothing. Yeah, it would be nothing. <laughs> yeah, so I'm grateful for you. Absolutely. <laughs> so what, what's going on, my, my good man? What, what's going on with you up there in Dallas? Oh, man, just I can tell to be the best version of myself, man. You know, still, still get to the real estate thing, man. And, uh, and doing some stuff with the logistics side as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, just. Living Absolutely. his best life. Living his best life. <laughs> so, <Living> best life. <laughs> <laughs> so for those of you that do not know, uh, Marcus Calhoun and myself go back. Like, what's that old saying? Like Cadillac seats? Yeah, four flats on a Cadillac. Four flats on a Cadillac. In a slant back. In a slant <laughs> back. <laughs> we, go, we, we go back, man. And so, uh, if this guy is, I would say that this guy here is cut from the exact same cloth. Huh? Yeah, man, I got to though. <laughs> I got to. So, built from, uh, cut from the same cloth. Um, a lot of, a lot of his thinking. Uh, we, we're always having that dialogue. We're always kind of sharpening each other's sword, right? And so, iron uh, sharpens iron. Iron sharpens iron. So. Uh, Marcus, tell us a little bit about your background, where you're from, kind of the things that uh, have propelled you to where you are today. Oh, man, well, you know, uh, of course, I'm from East Texas, real small town, uh, Nacogdoches. Um, for me, man, I, I, my background, really, I come from, you know, I really just fell into real estate, man. Uh, I did real estate, started it around 2009, 2010, and, uh, you know, moved up in the, in the industry on that end from sales to training, and then he became the business sales manager for a builder, and then uh, decided to 
Tell yeah. me how many books do you read a, a, a year? See, I, I do 36 books a year. That's why I was asking. I, I set goals for everything I do, and that self-development, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I picked up on the bus late. I, I missed the bus on that one, had massive success in business, and it fell flat on my face because I was just an unbalanced character. It's just right. how I was. I'm still working on myself every day. Anyways, <laughs> continue on, yeah. please, sir. Yeah. Marcus, so you, you, you said some things, you said some things, and, and if you follow the show, we had a show segment called Leveraging. Uh, leveraging opportunities, and so, uh, in my opinion, one that has known you, you have become almost a master at leveraging the opportunities that have been given to you, leveraging the relationships that have been, that have been kind of around you, and so, hit a little bit on that, because we hear leveraging all the time, and a lot of the viewers listening don't truly understand the concept of the correct way of leveraging those different opportunities, those different relationships for almost not to be selfish, but it's almost for self gain. Uh, but you're also kind of tying back in and blessing those around you in return. As well. So hit a little bit on, on that side. Yeah, well, well leverage, it, all, it always starts with, with, from my point of view, at this point in my life, you mm -hmm. know, the knowledge that I gain, right? So uh, when, I, when, I, when I'm leveraging myself uh, or, or getting to know someone, uh, the first thing I let people know is my intent. You know, because if, if they clearly understand that you come in peace, love, happy, or all this health and full abundance, you know, it, it immediately opens a person up to be able to have more dialogue with it. And so, so that, that's the very first thing that I do whenever I get to meet someone. And, and mm -hmm. it's all time about leverage, right? Right. And so, and so but, but these are like the conversations most people don't think about internally first, right? And so, so whenever I go there, and then I also let them know, hey, look, man, you know, do this dialogue. succeeds alone. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a fact. That's it. Man, it, it, it's, a, it's virtually, as you're right, and it's, it's virtually impossible. That's what most people think, man, I'm going to do it by myself. Oh, I got it. I'm going to figure it out, man. Uh, you know, well, if, if you go back in, yeah, if you go back in history, if, if history, I mean, you can, you can tell, you know, like, every single company leveraged themselves with some other company. Every single person leveraged themselves with some other person. Right. It's, it's power in numbers. symbiotic relationship is what it should be. That's exactly it. Man. Absolutely. That's it. Yeah, because it's a relational business and whatever it is that you decide to do. Absolutely. Now, yeah. you, start, you started to go through there. I'm going to pull you back because you pulled out, right? <laughs> <laughs> the universe. Yeah. And you know we've gone deep talking about universe, right? And it, it, the question that we pose to everyone is, how do you live in the universe and don't know the universal laws that have actually been given. Man, I love this because I want you to know, again, before I fell flat on my face, <laughs> yeah. I always attributed any and everything to the universe. The I'm like, thanks, universe. <laughs> and then later on, I discovered, oh my gosh, did you know that God created the universe? OMG. OMG. Now, of course, this is this a whole other can of worms. However, yeah, I mean, I'm a universalist. And yeah. I, I, I'm a firm believer in God. Uh, let's talk about this. Yes, yeah, so hit on the market. You know, we, we could be on this for hours, but for the sake of time and show. <laughs> yeah, let's give let's give the clip notes on on yeah. And that's a question I always ask people. You know, okay, we we, we live in a house, but okay, we know how to house is built. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we live on a on this earth, and, and we we somewhat understand the concept of this, right? But then how we live in the universe and not know the well. I'll back up. We we know the law of gravity. Mm -hmm. Right, what goes up must come down. True. You know, but but, but how, how do we live in the universe? I don't know our universe laws. These are all basic, basic guys, principles that we all operate under, but we never really use 
think about this the internet right now. I was talking about television. All right, so <clears throat> the first day I was in the All right, so you're watching television, mm -hmm. right? And you have a remote control, right? And then, you, and then you're able to use this, whatever, and y'all know what this is, so I, yes. I, I'll explain to you. But, yes. but, but let, let's, let's just think, because that's the goal. That's the, that's the whole purpose of this conversation is to think, right? So, so you're able to use the wireless remote to be able to connect to your television, to connect, connect to a satellite out of space, and then come back to your television and change the channel to ESPN, which is my favorite channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Most people think about that as like, well, man, that's a miracle, if you really think about it, right? How, how, did, that, how did that actually happen? That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so once you look at you, you have a, you have a frequency. Yeah. That goes from your t from your remote to your television set. That shoots to outer space and comes back from a satellite and changes the channel. So, Pat, Pat, you with me, bro? Oh, I'm with you on this. I'm sitting here thinking okay. about how we all vibrate at a certain frequency and like energy attracts. Hey, I'm telling you. And see, we can keep going deep with this. All all we day, all it. day. Yeah. Success other agents realize versus where I intend to launch into Plano area uh, March 20th and I've been considering pulling out and and, and and launching here in San Antonio again on that same date right. and yet all of a sudden I'm on the phone with you sounds like you're an influencer mover shaker in Dallas mm -hmm. maybe this is a thing that's meant to be not to make it all about you know my biz or anything like that it's just again that energy that, that attraction so I might actually yeah. give you a call and you know up. in fact you know everything happens for, for the reason right I, I used to I used to yeah. despise that saying yeah but it, it it's true though Mm -hmm. You know, so basically what that is, you know, it, it's, it's simply, I'm paraphrasing, you know, it's like, 
across states, nothing happens by chance or outside of the universal law. Every right. action has a reaction or right. consequence, and we reap what we have sown. So, man, you've been thinking about this, and now it's coming into fruition, and it, this is just a, and this is just thinking about law of attraction. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. you get what you think about most, man. That's a book. It, the, the, yeah, and it's it's funny because it's so simple. It's so simple, yet it's so challenging, right? The stars have already been aligned for all of our paths. Mm -hmm. They've already. Yeah. It's us that choose to get out of alignment with them. Thank you. God, God never does leave us. He's been standing right in front of us. It's us that get out of out of alignment with Him, and so it is. If, if you just follow, I'm, I'm telling you. So if you just follow follow that, right, like. The energy, thoughts are things. We, we say it all the time, but we truly don't conceptualize what that actually means. Like, thoughts are things. Thoughts, thoughts are things. truly things. If you wake up, if you wake up in, in markets, in real estate, you know how easy it is for us to get discouraged on a day where it's just bad, it's rainy, it's muddy. You're like, man, I'm not going to get any, any sales today. I'm not going to. I'm not going to be successful today because the weather is bad. And that goes on. And so now that that thought is projected out into the atmosphere, you're more than likely going to fail for the day. But if you wake up every day and you have that mindset to where, man, I don't care what the weather looks like, I'm about to sell me a house today. That's right. I'm about to, I'm about to do something productive today. And just have that positive energy, because we talk about energy, that energy, that's going to project so much around you. So much around you. And that's, I'm glad you hit on that, man, because there's so many people that may need to hear that. I need to hear it. Uh, from time to time, because at the end of the day, we're human, we're not perfect, but um, I do, we do, we should be trying to live our best lives, like you said, we should be trying to live our best lives in the most positive form that we can every single day. And I got to put, put that out there too, because something in here he was just mentioned, and, and this boils down to discipline and right. habits. You, you cannot, I don't care who you are, you cannot control the first thought that crosses your mind. However, right. you are in control of the second thought. True. You are in control of that second thought. True. You can discipline yourself into building that habit of, of, of having positive thinking and having that good thinking by first recognizing that first thought, right. shifting it to the positive energy. And the more often you do that, over time, the first thought's gonna become a positive thought. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be, man, I'm not gonna make any sales today. Why am I even in the office today? It becomes a, a, a habitual way of thinking, positive. positive. You are literally in control of your own destiny. You are. Yeah. You right. really are. Yeah, yeah man, that, that kind of time. I'm sorry. Uh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I mean, I mean, so, so what you're talking about, man, is, is the, the power of your conscious and subconscious mind, right? True. So it's yeah. about the Boom. conscious mind, right? Drop the mic. So our, our, our conscious mind is, is right now we're thinking, you know, we're, we're, we're having dialogue with you to receive or not receive the information that we're sharing with each other, right? So consciously, we, we, we are aware in lack of words, right? Our subconscious mind is basically what operates whenever, you know, we're going through looking looking through life and, and we're seeing subliminals or whatever, whenever right. we're asleep, you know, subconsciously is what keeps us, keep your heart beating, you know, and, and uh, you know, you breathing as well. And so, so that's the, the so there's a, what we have to understand with, with, about our subconscious mind is that it only, well, I'll, I'll, it, it only can receive information, right? What I mean by that is, is, is think about giving and receiving, kind of shifting gears, right? Mm -hmm. So most people look at this conversation like, man, um, um, shoot, I'll give you the perfect example. I was going to go a different route. So a perfect example is like whenever you give somebody a gift, right? Mm -hmm. And then and then when that person receives that gift, they give so much gratitude to you, and, they, and it makes you feel good, right? Right. Be like, man, that's a, man, that's a good feeling. And so what you what you have to realize as well, and still talking about the conversation, right? But subconsciously you automatically receive the gift as well because you receive a good feeling. Mm -hmm. and, and that good feeling yeah. is what helps manifest and give you more of the things you just desire because we all know that when you feel good, be us that is good, good, feel good, feel good, good, play good. Yeah. All that good is right. True. So so if we understand that hey, subconsciously we have to be able to get to consciously and subconsciously control the things that we thought, that we think about. Like that, you said, like, okay, well, subconsciously I thought this first thought, but consciously I can choose not to think that thought again. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it, it, it all ties into what you're saying. And, it, and oftentimes what I teach when it comes to, to coaching realtors or any other business owners, it, it, the conscious and subconscious mind is 
you're feeding that subconscious brain. And what's very interesting, and I want to dog our subconscious brain, and yet it's a fact. It's a million times more powerful than the conscious brain, and at the same time, it's mm. stupid. Mm. So anything right. you say to it, it's going to seek that to be a reality. Right. So if you say, I right. need something, it's going to keep you in a state of need. Right. As opposed to saying right. in, in, in a present positive tense, you know, I enjoy right. you know, earning this amount of money. I enjoy taking care of my family. Well, now your brain's going to make sure, your subconscious is going to make sure that that happens. Right. Like, uh, I, I've learned, talk about this often, though. Is that, have you had it, Marcus? The light bulb moment. Like, you cannot overcome a challenge with your, your conscious brain, and yet three weeks later, you're driving, thinking about something else, oh, listening man. to your jams, yes. and then all of a sudden, Yes. Bing, the light bulb goes off, yes. solution found. That was your subconscious brain still working out that issue for three weeks. I don't know how many times, that's spot on, man, because it's so many times where you may have misplaced something. <laughs> like you may have misplaced, and you're going, to my like, like, your life. conscious mind is going crazy, it's frantic, like it can't find it, you're trying to search, search, search. And we always say at this point in our lives, right, at this point in our lives, I learned just to chill out. Yeah, it's going to come. It's going to come. Like, just, just chill out when you feel like, Man, I, I'm frantically moving about. I can't, I can't figure this out, and I can't think about what it is that I, what it is that I want to do on my next move. Man, just sometimes just chill. And we always say in market, sometimes you just gotta slow down and speed up. Yeah, so you just you gotta chill. You gotta just relax and just know that you have two powerful. It is, we really have two powerful minds. You have the conscious and the subconscious. That's right. The subconscious sometimes can, can save your ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, oh. I don't care, because we going deep. <laughs> oh, that's the curse jar. That's the curse jar, sir. Huh? Yeah. Impeccable with that word. Man, Chris, Marcus. Chris, spot on. So Chris Connell, trust God and chill. Facts. Trust God and chill. Trust God and chill. Why isn't that a t-shirt? Is it a t-shirt? I'm pretty sure it, it is, but t-shirt. let go and let God. I mean, that's very famous. That's uh-huh. a very famous saying. It's very popular saying. And, and um, that is something that people are yeah. challenged with. Trust, it is. Trusting in or having Jesus take the, the wheel. Happen. Jesus take the wheel. And we're talking about yeah. energy. Marcus, yeah. I'm going to tell you, uh, it's, just, it's just ridiculous to me. My favorite word is believe. Like, believe in yourself, because that's where it starts, and that's all that matters. And I was born on March 16th. Now let's take it to the Bible, John 3.16. What's mm-hmm. that entire passage about? Faith, trust, mm-hmm. belief in yourself, mm-hmm. belief in God. Mm-hmm. It's, it's amazing to me that I was born on that day and it took me 30 years to realize that. And yet, at the end of the day, it starts with awareness, so I'm happy I realized it. But sooner, yeah. later, whichever way, right? Yeah. I'm still a young man. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, man, that, that, that's awesome. So, you, you leverage, obviously, you're a true believer in that, and so you, you've leveraged those things in your personal life and even in your marriage. My, my little nephew, I gotta talk, I gotta talk about, but even in your marriage, I mean, these are things that you don't just talk and you, you actually preach and you, you, you utilize these things in your everyday life. And so, this is really, this is really, in your opinion, in my opinion, has really changed a lot about who you are and how you how you conduct your daily. Um, yeah, like, You can only be a better version of yourself each and every day. You're competing with yourself yesterday. Yes. That's the only person that can stop you. It's you. Seriously. (laughs) It's you. Seriously. Man, Marcus, I'm just so hyped that you came on the show. You're talking about, you know, flattered we have you on the show. I really am just blessed today that, that, that you came on the show. Um... I'm, I got a day ahead of me, not, not a challenging day, just an exciting day, and I'm, you just made it even more exciting. I get to leave here just filled with positivity. Let's go. Like taking a positivity pill. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Hashtag Absolutely. Absolutely. Love it. Love it. No, 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 you're talking, you know, so he's thinking, so who is he thinking about when he just said that, Marcus? He said you were that small sales counselor. That was Jay. That's right. That was Jay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. yeah so he was, with, he was with Jay, or Jay yeah. was with him in Lone Star. Yeah, yeah. 
I remember. That's weird. That's crazy how things come full circle. Well, it's not crazy, actually. It's energy that we just discussed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, well, big bro, man, I really, really thank you. Uh, I know you took this on a whim, and so I, I'm truly grateful for you. You've been a blessing uh, to the show today, obviously, and, and a lot of great content was shared. And I hope everyone that listened in today uh, got something from that, because I know I did personally. And, and I do want to remind everybody that does, that does tune in, uh, thank you, and thanks for watching. Uh, those that come to the show later, don't just dismiss the show and not watch it or anything like that. You guys can listen to the podcast. You can find it on iTunes, every other tunes, any kind of podcast app. We're on all of them. So yes. just uh, check out the Real TM Reality Show as part of the Detail Did It uh, uh, podcast network. And you guys can actually check the show out anytime. Matter of fact, the podcast will be up and running on iTunes within the next 10 minutes. So you guys can listen anytime while you're working out, driving in your car, sitting in your office, whatever it is. Just remember, this show is about empowerment, yes. growth, and education. So we're not just going to come at you with ridiculousness, as I say, like this AT&T telemarketer that's on right now. <laughs> that's ridiculousness. Um, and yet, we're gonna, that's what it's about, guys. So check out the podcast, follow us, um, if not for my sake, for your sake. <laughs> well, Marcus, bro, you know I'll be in touch, um, but thank you again for coming on the show today. I know Patrick definitely feels the same. I love it. I, yes. I, I, I appreciate I didn't know who was coming on the show, didn't know we were having a guest, and yet, it's true. Not just playing on words. Yeah. I really I had hey, faith it was. Like, I it came was in, I came in here today and told Patrick, bro, I got you. This is a show. I got you. Let's just go, let's just go get it. Yep. <laughs> so man, thank you. Thank, thank you, big bro. Let's connect, Marcus. Yes. Thank you, man. Love you, man. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you, man. All right. Peace. All right. Peace, love, and positivity. <laughs> Posterity. So, guys, with that, that was the end of our uh, our interview. That was a great guest. I hope you guys, I trust, I know you guys enjoyed the positivity that came from that episode, uh, episode 15 of the Real Team Reality Show. Yes. And much like we sign off every time. Wait, 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 oh, wait, 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 there's wait, more. Wait. Oh, oh man, so, Monday, we oh, have snap. to make this announcement. I gotta stand up for this. <laughs> okay, Monday. Everybody, Monday. Monday, That's so, we have, he has, Called out, <laughs> Lenar, Open Door. But this is mostly Open Door. So I had the pleasure of meeting with Open Door last week, and Open Door has agreed to come on the show live in studio, and we are going to air it all out. February we're going to get clarity 18th. on this whole change market shift. We're going to do it. So February 18th, Open Door. February 18th, Open Door show. will be here in the studio. With they are them here to and their pricing department. They are here to dispel uh, realtor misconceptions. Yes. They are here to listen to me slightly attack them. Yes. Uh, no worries, guys. Don't don't freak out. We, uh, so, I got questions, really. Just yeah. questions. I just got questions. If you have questions as a realtor, as someone who has previously dealt with Open Door as a consumer, whatever that may be, if you have questions that you would like for us to ask Open Door, please drop Write a message, us message in, our, us. in our DMs, our PMs, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we'll have our own questions that we're going to be asking Open Door, but the whole idea is to seek understanding, right? Get clarity on on how Open Door is operating and, and impacting the San Antonio market. So yeah. uh, February 18th at 8:15, live here in the studio. Definitely tune in next week, but we'll be back on tomorrow. But definitely tune in next week. So today. again, if you didn't hear yeah. that, February 18th, Monday, Open Door of Texas will be coming in to the show live to talk about themselves, what they're doing in the community, and how they're not disrupting the way the realtors operate. I don't know if I agree. We'll see if they we'll change see. my mind. We'll see. You've been called out, and I love that you guys answered the call. I respect that. So, you know, if you care about earning respect, you earn my respect in that in that facet so far. Let's continue that, that journey on Monday, February Absolutely. 18th. Absolutely. Thanks for that, Chad. But, until then, until we will then. see y'all tomorrow. That's right. And it's aloha. Aloha, mahalo. mahalo, and everything in between. Peace.